So today I'll be unboxing a pretty cool product. This is the Strider Series 1500 watt power supply from Silverstone. And what makes this unique is the fact that it is A, 80 plus silver certified, and B, it is one of the highest wattage power supplies available on the market. It is also a 100% modular design, and I will show you what that means in a moment. But why don't I get the cameraman to take a quick look at the actual specs for this unit. So you can see it is an 8 rail power supply. So that means it has 8 12 volt rails, each specced up to a max of 25 amps each. Okay, so it uses probably, yeah, 135 millimeter silent fan, and they're saying that the noise level is as low as 19 decibels. So that's incredibly silent, and that is, again, one of the things they've called out right on the front. This is a low noise power supply. Now, let's get this thing open. Oh, hey, here, we've got a summary of all the connectors on it, too. So you have a 24-pin connector, an EPS 8-pin connector, uh, which is also a 4, a four plus 4, and then you have an EPS 8-pin just native connector, four floppy connectors, that's a lot of those actually, four 6-pin PCI Express, four 6-pin, uh, 6 plus 2-pin PCI Express, then you have 12 Molex and 12 SATA. So let's, you can connect pretty much whatever you could possibly want to this power supply, as many as, wow, I guess you could do four graphics cards, depending on how they've configured the, uh, the modular cable design, which we will have a look at in just a moment here. If I can get the box open, it seems to be caught on something. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, it's just caught on that. Okay, power supply. This power supply is capable of drawing a very high amount of current and electricity. Be attentive to use only the power cord included with the power supply and do not use an extension cable or a power strip with this power supply. 1500 watts is a lot of juice, folks. So this is the dream PSU for computer enthusiasts. Okay, awesome. And remember too that if you're pull, if you're powering your PC with 1500 watts, you're actually drawing more than that from the wall because even though it's 80 plus, it should be around 80, 86 to 87 percent efficiency. You're actually drawing that extra few percent from the wall, even though you're not able to use it. So this is power power supply. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so this is your manual. It's available in a bunch of different languages. How to install, a uh, bunch of basic information on the power supply itself, including the pinouts for all the different connectors. Okay, that's great. Let's take this foam out. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's do the rest of the accessories first. So inside here, what I think we're going to find is a power cord, and that is what we're going to find, but we're also going to find uh, like a pouch to hold your extra modular cables in. Okay, so that's kind of nice. And then here is like a super thick power supply cable and it actually uses a non-standard configuration. So this is designed to be used only with this power supply. And I think I've seen a couple others before that are like that. Okay, we got a couple adapters here. So this is uh, 6 plus 2 PCIe and it takes two 6 pins at the back. Okay, so it's an adapter. I don't like to see adapters like this on a fully modular power supply. It seems kind of unnecessary. Uh, we've got some Velcro cable management ties, as well as some thumb screws, as well as some regular zip ties for cable management. And then here we go. This is a long power supply. Wow. This thing is absolutely ginormous. As if that's a word. There you go. So. That is a 135 millimeter fan, and even so, you've got large strips of unused area on either side of this unit. I mean, this thing is huge. So there's your general specs again on the side, as well as uh, your cautioning, blah, 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 okay? You've got a Silverstone stamp on the top. You've got a regular honeycomb grill with your uh, special power supply cord input on the side, and then nothing over here. Now, at this side of the power supply, we're gonna find what is one of the coolest features of this unit, the 100% modular interface that it has. So you can plug in up to four per, let me see, I'm gonna make sure I'm right here before I say this, up to four peripherals, so this is Molex or SATA, and then the bottom ones are up to six, one, two, three, four, yeah, six PCI Express connectors along the bottom, and then you even the 24 pin ATX connector is modular on this power supply, so that's very cool. I mean, there's no reason you wouldn't have that plugged in. Oh, I'm sorry, okay, no, it is 
four PCI Express, and then these two on over here are the two eight pin EPS connectors. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so why don't we have a look at which connectors Silverstone deems necessary to include by default with this unit. Here we go. Okay, so, but yeah, PCI Express, we've got Oh, okay, so they're using actual, actually like two PCI Express connectors per plug at the back. So by default, it comes with two 6 plus 2s, three, four 6 plus 2 connectors, and then four additional 6-pin connectors. So eight PCI Express connectors just right out, right out of the gate. And then it also includes those adapters to turn your other 6 pins into an additional two 6 plus 2 pins. So that's six. 6 plus 2 pin connectors, that's ridiculous, wow. Okay, so there's your EPS and your ATX 4 pin, 4 plus 4. And then they've also included... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, two Molex and two SATA attached by default. And then you've got the additional ones here, so you can switch to whichever cable configuration you would like, because it's a modular power supply. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and product overview of the Silverstone Strider 1500 watt power supply.